Hi, I'm John. I'm an engineer and I'm going to show you how to test switches. It's easy to do, but you do need a multimeter and you need a switch that you want to test. So I've got a selection of switches here. These are on off switches, power switches off. That's off a treadmill. It's got three connections on the back. This one is another on off switch. It's got four connections on the back. Uh, little push button switch there. Push to turn it on, push to turn it off and a little micro switch or limit switch and it's got two connections and a little the switch is there. So all of these you can test in the same way um, and you do this test without any power on so it's important that you take the switch out of the circuit and disconnect any connectors. If you leave it in the circuit you might end up testing the circuit rather than the switch so it's really important that you disconnect it and remove the, the switch for testing. You need a multimeter, this is my multimeter and the setting that you want is the one with the little loudspeaker there. It's a, it's a continuity test or a beep test. So you might have, well, you, you should have that on your meter. Your meter will probably look different to this one. Some have got lots of settings. So it's a case of finding the one that's got the, the little speaker or little sounder uh, symbol and setting your meter to that. You need to test your meter first because you need to know whether you've got your meter set up right. So. To test the meter, it's dead easy with the probes, touch them together, the meter should beep. When you disconnect the probes, the meter should stop beeping, just like that. And then you can use this test for any switches like, like these. Um, and basically, this, in the switch, you've got two conditions, either the switch is closed or the switch is open. If the switch is closed, effectively what's going on inside is that you'll have an electrical path and the meter will beep and in the other condition it will open. So what you're looking for is for one condition for the switch to be open and the other condition for the switch to be closed and in one one of those states what that means is that I can do this get my probes on there and you can hear the meters already beeping and if I press the switch it stops. Beeping stops. So that tells me that switch is good this is actually a normally closed switch. Uh, if you want to get technical about it, it means the contacts are usually closed. In other words, you get an electrical path through, which is why the meter beeps, until you press the switch, in which case the contacts open. This switch here, this is an on-off switch. It's got three connections on the back, just to complicate things. And what that means is that you need to test two of the uh, connections. Your machine might only have two connections on it, in which case uh, locate which, which connections they are, put your probes on that and switch the switch. I can do this. Let's try it that way. So I'm not getting any noise there, which means that Maybe that contact's not connected. So let's try the other pair here, these two. Ah, there we go. So these two connections out of the three here, these two are working and I get a connection and no connection. And for completeness, I just try the third pair and again, nothing in that state. So the only working connections on this switch are those two there which is fine if you've got, if that's a power switch and you've got your connections on there, then that will work just fine. This switch here has got four connections on it. Uh, this is a, um, it's actually got two switches inside. We've got one switch here and one switch here. So again, I can test this in the same way. That's beeping and I switch it to the other state and it goes off. And I can test the other switch by moving my probes across there. And that actually works in reverse, like that. So that switch is good. And then finally, I've got a simple uh, two-state switch here. So this is an example of what might be, uh, you know, you could have a switch where your safety key goes in on a treadmill. Um, it won't look like this. It, it'd be, it could be a magnetic switch or a, a key switch that you plug in. But at the back, you'll probably have two connectors. And it's a case of locating those connectors. Put your meter on them, 
whoops, switch the switch or put the key in or whatever, and it should work. And it's that working and not working tells you that the switch is okay. If you got any questions, give me a shout. Otherwise, uh, best of luck.